Hello, and welcome back to episode 2 of Dark Souls 2. Now, again, we've just died a second ago from doing this, so um, I'll show you through what we did. We didn't do too much. So behind here, there's a chest with a rusty coin in it. And you want to go down this little tunnel, go left, go right, pull a little handle. Which will open this door in front of you. It takes a while to open. But this is a great thing about Dark Souls 2, which uh, people seem to forget. It's the fact that you can teleport instantly. So as long as you can find a bonfire behind this door, you never have to do this door again, realistically. Which is our plan, is to find, get to the next bonfire so we never have to wait for that door to open again. And that there is where we died, trying to walk down this plank. Now, this is, I think that's the first time in like my Dark Souls 2 history I've ever died walking down this plank. I don't know why I died walking down there, but I did. Open this. There will be a human effigy in it, which is great. Cool. Now you could make that jump and grab the item down there, or you could do the smart way, which is the way I'm going to do it. Wait for this jerk to be turned around. Walk into his or walk into the water, and the item is just here. It's the same way to get to it, just a little bit quicker. There'll be one of the little shit houses for you, but it's just a little shit house, so. There's nothing to nothing to really fear about him. Right, we're gonna go back up. We're gonna we're not gonna fight the big giant because there's no need. Does it give us anything cool? And we are aiming for over there to start off with. Yep. Now I've sat down, we haven't got to deal with anything back to our left anymore, so we can just keep going right. The white on. Now my next suggestion would be kill this guy to the right first because there will be a guy follow you from behind but kill the bow kill the axe just, keep, just go around do got a bit of killing through around here because the next area you want to go to to get the next little little item is down the River. Just grab this. And dead soul. It's always good. Move up. And then there'll be a ladder. Now this is an area that you'll spend a little few minutes in. Because all of these enemies that don't have um, like items on them are all alive. They just don't wake up until you get close enough to them. I'm going to pop a life gem so we can slowly heal. Green Blossom, that is going to boost our stamina whenever we need it. My suggestion would be to just sit around here and murder it. Now I think in the Dark Souls 2 game where that dead body is at the tree, there's one of them, that's the first time you see one of them white knights that we've seen. We'll just keep moving around. Killing all the enemies so we can pick up all the items. That's a broken sword, we don't need that because we started with one. Try to stay as far away as you can. Now there's a guy, where is he? I think he's up there somewhere. Yeah, there he is. He's throwing... Um...
stuff at you, so try and stay as far away from him as possible. Yeah, if you can get them solo, they're a lot easier to kill. Because you can just get behind them and do yourself a, a backstab. Picking up all the items. Human effigy. See, there, there are a few good items here. Life gem. We should pop another one before we continue. Wait for that to heal up. As you can see, it does do quite a bit of health, a life gem. That's just a standard normal life gem as well. That's not even a bigger one. There's most of your health. Uh, did we pick up any weapons? We did. We picked up a, a broken thieves sword, which you don't want to use. A bunch of broken swords. So this time we're going to want to go up this ladder, but as we walk up, we want to go back down again. Because there'll be someone walking down the ladder. Get up to the top. This is all for like souls plus. Uh... Now we're going to want to make this jump. To grab this, which is a straight sword, which I think is a good, if I'm correct, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad strength weapon, but it's my my weapon is better, so yeah, jump back over because I think that drop will legit like kill us. It's so bad for full damage this game. Then we're gonna want to go back up and back down, and then back down the ladder. Now if you hold down with uh, circle or B, depending on what console you're on or what controller you're using, uh, you will just slide down ladders like that in this game. I don't think it works in Dark Souls 1. Go through the fog gate. Uh, when you're through, I would suggest to not go left but to go down here instead to start off with. Then you're going to want to hit this bookshelf because there is a wooden bow behind it, some wooden bolts. Quick kill on you. Pop another life gem just so we're healing up. Then there'll be an enemy around this corner. him go up here continue going up there'll be a guy at the top throwing uh, shooting bolts just ignore him and just run at him kill him kill this guy perfect they have only got one more enemy to kill in this area before we move on and we're gonna just grab this item it is a buckle buckler which is a light shield which means we can do parries I think quicker or something I can't remember how light do different shields work so we're gonna go grab that item there which I think is a uh, urn which is a new a new type of item which we haven't used yet Yeah, it's a witch's urn. So in the game, there was fire bombs and black fire bombs. In this game, there's uh, like uh, things like witch's urn. Now, witch's urns uh, deal magic damage, but they're the same as black fire bombs. So you just throw them, and instead of doing fire damage, they do magic damage. We're gonna want to open this door. 
right? And then we're gonna we've, we've still got some prep to do. We're gonna speak to this person. We're gonna go to the uh, shop, the uh, little Estes flask section at the top. And our first purchase we're gonna buy is the key, right? You think of more we spent shit loads of money on a key when there's like armor and swords and stuff. We don't need any of these. As you can see, you can buy solar and heal from here if you want to. You can also buy petrified. This is the uh, thing I was on about petrified paper. It's the branch of you and this all stops all from being petrified. And then the ferrous locks are really good as well. So I'd suggest to get one of them when you can. But we don't need one yet. Now keep talking to her. Until she starts repeating herself. Now you can sit here. Right? And my suggestion would be, before we do anything else, is travel back to Majula. Now we're back here. Uh, we can go and we can open the door for the blacksmith. Because that's what that key was. Right, we'll go and we can open this, and this inside here is a crossbow, I think. No, short bow, sorry. Talk to him. So he needs to set up, but I think if you just teleport and then teleport back, he will turn back up. But we are going to talk to this woman, ask her to level up my stuff, and we are going to, now the first thing we're going to level up, I think... Because we've already got our strength at a high enough level that we want, right? Vitality is equipment. If we haven't got anything heavy we need to wear yet. I think our first job is to get our vitality, our, our um, health up to the 10, the top stat up to 10, so we can just round it off. Okay? We're going to travel back to. Uh, so, the, uh, so you want to go to the third one along, Forest of the Fallen Giants, then the second one in. Okay, we are back here. The um, so we're gonna what we're gonna do is first we're gonna walk out here and we're gonna kill this person because they will start chasing us. Right. It's also a free ninety souls, which is always nice. Now you're gonna walk up here, and as you get to the top, you're gonna notice there's a door, and as you click on it, it's gonna say this door is locked. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna knock on it. And you do it again. You do it a third time, and it's gonna break. So you don't need the key. You wanna try to kill this little shit if you can't, it's not the end of the world, so don't worry about it. Because we've got a, a hand axe and a another life gem, but a better life gem. It's the axe we could have bought from downstairs, so we just we saved ourselves some money. As well as a Hollow Knight suit, so that's some uh, fresh armor. But now we've we're in here, we can actually open this door. And now behind this door here, there is a. Now I think if I'm correct, I don't know if it is. We need to double check. I think this is our first trap chest. Now how trap chests work is it's not it's not a mimic anymore. There's two different types of trap chests. There's one that has a purple, like a green moss on it, like a green. Uh, uh, get a gas come out of it and there's one that has um, arrows that shoot out of it so arrow one you want to stand there and hold your shield if it's the uh, gas one as soon as you have it you want to roll away right, I think this is a it is not small white soapstone radiant life gem so now we can write on the floor now there's two... in the other game there was only one soapstone so there was um now we're going to want to be careful here because you want to jump onto this this branch to grab this item, divine blessing, and then jump down. Okay. And yeah, so there's two different types of soapstones in this one. So there's a normal soapstone and there's this small soapstone. 
Now, small slope stone is the same same as a. Uh, it's the same as a uh, big slope stone, but you only instead of it'll either last until you fight the boss, or I think it's ten minutes where the big one only lasts until you fight the boss. Uh, sorry about the background noise there. We um we got some issues because I had my window open. I apologise for that, but we are. Uh, back so what we're going to do is now we've chilled and we're back we're going to head out here but this time instead of going back that way we're going to jump down here this branch we're going to jump down again all right kill all these enemies and there is a reason we're coming down here and there is a, there's a big reason for it. I will explain in a minute. So first, there was an item. This is at the wall, which is a life gem. Always good to have a life gem on us. We're going to come to here. We're going to try and drop attack the guy there. We couldn't because he was behind. It's fine. We're going to come up here. Grab this item. Which is a human effigy. Again, all the human effigies we can get the better because we could just use them when we get to a harder boss. The first boss we're not going to need it for, but the uh, few in in good time we will need them. Trust me, we will need them a lot. So walk down this branch, grab this item. So then in the torch. So the torches. They don't actually make more torches. So you, I don't have two torches now. So how torches work is every torch you unlock gives you more time. And if you look at your inventory, uh, uh, next to my legs here, there is a um, 10 minute timer. So I think every torch gives you 5 minutes. So the more torches you pick up means that when you get to an area where you desperately need to use them, you can use it for longer. And there is an area soon where you desperately do need them. You're going to kill this guy. You're going to want to kill this guy here. Right, but try not to try and drag him away from the big turtle looking character because that is an enemy. Right, right, and you don't want the you don't want to be fighting other people when the turtle's character's fighting you. If you can draw that other guy, no, and then draw him away from him, them. So you just fight one on one of the turtle's character. This guy is a pain, and he will hurt, and he will hit you hard. Just be prepared. But you also, if, you ha if you're using this weapon two-handed, you also hit him quite hard as well. Use your Estus Flask because there's no, we're not, we're not going to fight any boss soon. Kill him. Pop your Estus Flask again. Just to fill you up. And you're going to want to just kill this guy just for the XP. He doesn't need to be killed for this next area. So... There's another turtle there. I, I don't think I've ever actually been in this little outcropping, you know? Pop this. Let ourselves heal a little bit before we go in and fight him again. I don't think I've ever been in this little outcropping. I don't even know it's down here. Oh, it's an item. A foothold shield. Okay, so we've got a new, we've got a shield out of here. Again, we'll, we'll take a shield. What we're actually aiming to do is go into here, right? Now you can see there's a bunch of fire, and at the end, there's like a flaming lizard. You can see his head. Right, and we're going to want him to shoot his little shot. And once he's shot his shot, you want to run in here and grab this door. Now, when you're in this animation, he can actually hurt you. Right. Now you're going to want to grab this item. This is the item we've come here for. This is the main item we've come down here for. Not not square. X. It's the fire long sword. So it instantly gives us a sword that has fire on it, right? And now you're thinking, why the hell would we need a fire long sword for, right? As soon as he's in his triple, run away. Right, 
and there is a reason for the fire long sword now you're going to want to come down this direction and there's a ladder here right go up the ladder and when you're at the top you will you should notice a roughly where you are you're back at this section right so what you could do which is what I would suggest actually because it saves you having to fight a bunch of enemies again is or, or you could and just get the soul we're gonna we're gonna get the souls fuck it we're gonna get the souls from it huh? Just tell him to stop being a dick. Cool. Climb back up. It saved us a homeward bone as well. Climb back up. And then we are going to go and sit back down again. And that is that section sorted. Right? Now my suggestion with the amount of souls we have, what I'm going to actually do is we're going to travel back to Majula. Now we're here. We are going to, as we should be able to see, the blacksmith is at work. And he will allow you to buy different types of weapons. Uh, he actually gives you a mace, which is a B in strength, which is a really good actually weapon to grab if you are uh, like going for. There's no point. Oh, so he also sells ten Titanite shards. So if you do want a bump up a weapon, you can. But there's no point doing it yet because you haven't found a weapon you want to keep. Uh, so we're actually going to use this point to to uh, level up our character. As I said, we're going to focus on getting my vitality to 10 well, my, the, the top the top stat to 10 so we are now full of uh, we've now got even health we are going to travel back we're going to do a little bit more prep and then once we've done all the prep we need to do we will then uh, be back tomorrow to actually do the rest of the prep and fight the boss so today's just going to be prep and chill uh, yeah so now we go down these stairs we haven't been down yet Uh, we're we'll looking over here. Kill this. And then kill this. Because we know we're not going to be um, killing the boss today, we can actually... Go ahead and use our Estus flasks if need be as well along this path. So yeah, we're going to continue down here. There's going to be a door here which we're not going to use yet. There's going to be a a character here we can kill because he will chase us down behind us if we don't. Walk through here, and there is this whole area down here which we're going to we will also do tomorrow. Uh, or we could get it done today. But first, we want to come here. This is the first thing we want to do. Kill this turtle. Right. Now, if you can get him to swing and hit the barrels. Right. He'll do himself some serial damage. As you can see. Right. And then there's another, another character here. Now there is an up to this side, but we are going to ignore up there for now. Now this is where the fire sword comes in, right? So two hand the fire sword and hit this barrel. It will blow you up, but it will blow a hole in this wall. The hole in this wall leads you 
back to the bonfire, which means all of that walking down the ladder and doing all of that fancy shit is now completely not needed. We're going to pop one of these because we're going to try and do the next part without having to stop. All right. So we're going to continue. But this time, we're going to, yeah, we're going to do this downstairs part. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to walk down here. But instead of going all the way down, actually, we're going to go all the way down and kill this guy. Because, fuck you. Right. Right. We are going to jump down here. And then down again. Right. Grab this. More torch time. Uh, pop the est uh, pop the estus fast to give us full heal. Then we're gonna head down this direction, right? We're gonna kill this guy who should be chasing us now. And we're gonna climb. We're gonna pick up the item, which is a life gem, and we're gonna climb up this ladder, right? And we're gonna go this way. I'm only gonna do this for one specific reason, and it's a really good reason. And we'll, we'll actually show you what we're doing this before we finish today as well. That's a death. Okay. The reason we're doing it is for this section here. Right, pop and hopefully we can do this in one go. Right, so you're gonna run and jump towards this wood, jump down, continue across, but instead of going up this ladder go this way. Wait for a boulder to go past. Grab this item. Continue up this path. Now you'll see a person here, and he is a friend. So you're going to go this way, and you want to kill this person first. Right, pick up this item. And then talk to him, right? Keep talking to him. And eventually, he'll give you a key. Yep. So now you've chatted to him. Um, he has given you a key for a place in Majula. Now, if you remember, in the first episode, we said there was a door that was locked, right? Uh, that is, this is the key to open that door, right? And I'll show you what this door does. It's really fucking cool, and it's a really cool place to go to. Uh, and that's uh, where we'll finish the episode, because we'll do the rest of the area uh um, okay, actually, no, there, there's a part of the area we're going to do now before we continue and say we're going to go off. So, we're going to jump down here. And we're going to kill these two fuckers. Right? Uh, which allows us to jump down to here. It means you can go down here and grab this, and I think this is a Titanite Shad. Yeah, so three Titanite Shards. Now, any three Titanite Shards you can get are amazing because three Titanite Shards means that you don't have to spend money on Titanite Shards to rank up your weapon. So, every Titanite Shard is great. So now we can literally ignore all this area onto our right again. again. Right, come up here, continue through here, and sit at this. Uh... Yeah, so all we have to do now is go right here or left as we come up here now and do that part tomorrow. So let's travel back to Majula. Now we're here. We are going to, again, we're going to level up. Uh, and we are going to level up now. We're going to do the same thing with two other stats. And we're going to do the same thing with these two stats. right? So we're going to bump up our endurance until we get that to a 10. That's the next stop. So, 
this time, we're just going to go and search through this house here. There's only a few items in this house, so it's not the end of the world, it's not the worst. Open here. It's the key we just unlocked. All right, then we're going to go straight through to this door, round the back, behind these huge fucking box, and grab this. It's a ferro lock stone. Now, we ain't going to use it. And we're going to be using that next episode, so it's good to grab one. And if you can't grab one from there and you don't have the key, go and buy one from the uh, woman at the blacksmith we were speaking to. All right? As you come up here, there will be nothing behind here. There will be a, a chest in here, I think. Yes, there is one, one here. And this will have a um, three titanite shards and three torches. So now we have half an hour of torch, which is fucking fantastic. I don't think there's anything out here. There isn't. Okay. So now, uh, well, if you listen to what he was saying, he was saying there's something in his house that's cool. And this is the first thing it's called. Now, this is the map of the area we're in. Now, every time you kill a significant boss, I think there's nine or ten significant bosses. There's a lot of bosses in the game, but there's only ten significant ones. Every time you kill a boss, there's a light that will pop up in this map. Right? And um, so, I think when you first kill it, it's like normal fire colour. And then when you kill it again, it becomes blue. And then it, so, it, it, when you get into New Game Plus, all these lights will be lit. And then if you kill them again, the, like, the colours will change to say you've killed it in a new game plus. So, yeah, it's a really cool thing. Now, down here, there is also a skeleton, right? And it's the first skeleton we meet. And it does the same as Dark Souls 1. They do bleed damage. Once you killed it, it will drop an item, human effigy. Really cool. Now, what you want to know about them skeletons, right? Uh, every time you come down here from each new game as well, so you get new game plus one, new game plus two, new game plus three, so on and so forth, there'll be an extra skeleton. And also there'll be a chest back here. Now in this chest for now, there is a, uh, what are they called? A soul vessel. Now a soul vessel allows you to go back to the uh, like women who are fucking spinning the yarn and stuff at the start and remap all your skills. Now, um, every time you beat a new game plus, that uh, there'll be a new item in there, and there'll be an extra skeleton. So new game plus one will have two skeletons, and there'll be a different item. New game plus two will be three, and you'll have a different item, so on and so forth. So yeah, it won't always be the same item. Now I've done that. Also in this game, which is really cool, if you check your player stats, um, you can see... At the top, there's LV, which is 17. Next to that, there's 1,001, which is how many souls we have. Then next to that, it says 1,159. That's how many souls we need to get to our next level, right? So that's uh, so we don't have to go back to the woman every time to see what level we're at. And the other cool thing is the bottom right is the percentage. Now, I think for fast rolls, you want to keep it at 25%. For medium rolls, you want to keep them at 25 to 50, and then for fat rolls, it's 50 to 75, but then after 75, I don't think you can roll anymore. But then after uh, 100, you can't even walk anymore. You, can, like, you can't even like run slash walk properly anymore. So, and actually, I don't know if that's true, because this doesn't... F we're going we're gonna to test that theory, actually. Uh, if not, I will get the stats for next episode, and we can go through it. We're going to take everything off, so that's a 10. Right, so that feels like the same roll to me. Right, and now we're going to put all of our heaviest shit on and try and get it to, like, a higher number. Is it what the percentage at the bottom, right? Yeah, 21. Right. Now if we put our heaviest shit on... And try and get it above 50, as close to 50 as you possibly can. 53, 52.9. Still the same kind of roll. It's a little bit slower. Man, we're going to hold all this stuff already. I'll fucking take it. That's better though. Put all the stuff about stats on there. That's that's the more important thing than. Yeah, cool. We're gonna be fat roll. We're gonna be medium roll in most of the game anyway because we want big boy armor. We want big strength, big strong boy. Um, 
So yeah, now we've done that, we can't level up yet, so we're going to rest at the travel back to the second bonfire in the third square along. So you go three squares along, click on it, and then the two at the bottom will show up, click on the bottom one. Now once you've unlocked enough bonfires as well, they will show up and be like, ding, here we go. So yeah, this is where we're going to end the first episode, the second episode, sorry. And we're going to, next time, we'll continue left. There's a few more things we need to pick up, and then we'll also fight the boss in the next episode. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone has a good morning, evening, afternoon, depending on where they're from. And I'll chat to you tomorrow for episode three. Have a good one. Bye.